So, you're building a platformer using GDevelop. That's great, since GDevelop is an awesome engine for creating platformers. But let's face it, making games takes a lot of time. Luckily, GDevelop does its best to help you out by giving you really useful shortcuts called extensions. Let's level up your platformer by adding a smooth camera following the player and a camera shake effect when the player gets hurt. I've set up this project by adding the platformer basics, a player object with a built-in player controller and a platform behavior for the platform. If you don't know how to set these up, don't worry, just check out this video. I've also added this sprite object in the form of deadly spikes that our poor wizard has to avoid. Our first problem is that the game is actually quite boring since it's only limited to only one screen. We could add a basic camera using events, but that would make our event sheet more cluttered than it has to be. And this is where the smooth camera extension comes to the rescue. Extensions are nifty pre-built behaviors programmed to solve specific problems. You find them by clicking the project manager icon in the top left corner of your GDevelop window. Find the section with a gear icon and click on function slash behaviors. Look for the magnifying glass icon and click on search for new extensions. Then type smooth camera in the search box that appeared and press enter. Click on the smooth camera extension showing in the search results and then click the light blue install button in the bottom right corner of the extension info window. Close this window and the project manager to return to your project. When back in your project, double click the player object to open its settings window. Click the behaviors tab located to the left of the properties tab. Here you only need to click the add a behavior button down in the right corner and scroll down to find your newly installed extension. You'll actually find two smooth camera extensions installed, so make sure to double click the one called smooth platformer camera to install both of the extensions. All you have to do now is to click the apply button down in the bottom right corner and click on the preview button to see your smooth camera in action. Good job! But there's more to learn. To get started on making the camera shake when the player collides with a trap, Go back to the search for new extensions button in the project manager and type camera shake in the search box. Then click on the camera shake extension and install it. When you're back in your project, it's time to go to the event sheet to program your camera shake effect. If you're unsure how the event sheets work, then check out this video and then return to this tutorial. Click to add a new event and add a collision check between the player and the trap in the conditions column. Since we don't want to make our players throw up due to motion sickness, we also want to add the trigger once while true condition. Otherwise your camera will keep on shaking until the player gets away from the trap, and we don't want that. Click on the add action button and type shake in the search field, and then click on the camera shake action. The only two parameters we have to give a value are the two top ones, amplitude of shaking on the x and y axis. These two and the other parameters determine how violently or how long your camera shake effect will last. For now we'll just enter 10 pixels in both of the amplitude fields and leave the rest at their default values. But do feel free to play around with the other parameters to learn more about how they affect the camera shake. Click OK and return to your game scene to preview and try out the camera shake. As you can see, our platform game feels much more responsive and alive with these simple to add extensions. Just one more thing. These effects can be used for other cool stuff. Let's say you want to make an earthquake level for your game. Just add the camera shake extensions to your event sheet, but leave the conditions column empty. Now your camera will keep on shaking, but again, be careful not to cause motion sickness unless that's something you want to achieve, I guess. And that's it for this video, guys. If you need any help, you'll find me in the comment section below. Keep leveling up your platformer game and I'll see you soon in another video. Yours truly, the Swedish Game Dev.